Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about how much the Canadian exchange program, the Disney Canadian exchange program costs. I wrote down all of the prices that I have paid so far. Like I said, obviously my program was cancelled because I was supposed to be there summer of 2020. However, um, up until I paid everything, um, the only thing I had to pay was once I got down there. So these are all the costs that you have to pay before you actually get down to Florida. So let's just go right into this video. I thought this video would be very, very helpful because when I was planning and like researching this program, I found it incredibly hard to find information, especially regarding the costs. So I thought this might be helpful for anyone who's going to plot going to apply in the future um, and we're starting off right at the beginning is if you do not live in a major city in Canada you have to fly down to wherever to your interview for me I had to fly to Toronto so the major cities are Toronto Vancouver Montreal and Quebec City so if you do not live in one of those provinces or in that area you have to fly down there you could drive down there but that's also has its own fees um, my flight to Toronto cost roughly a thousand dollars and that we did have to pay that ourselves. Disney does not provide transportation to your interview. So my flight was around $1,000 $1, to get down to my interview. With that, you ha also have to pay for a hotel. Again, unless you live in the area. My hotel was roughly $200 and I only did stay one night. So roughly $200 for my hotel for the interview down in Toronto. I personally also went and got new interview clothing, um, so I spent roughly $100 on my interview clothes for my interview, obviously. So this is optional. If you have interview appropriate clothing, then you obviously don't have to spend this money, but I, I had interview appropriate clothing, but it was just nice to get something new, so that cost me roughly $100. Now for your acceptance fee, it is $390 US for your acceptance fee. You have to pay this fee before you are formally in the program. If you don't pay this fee, you're not in the program. So $390 US turns out to be roughly $550 Canadian, I think it was. Um, so it's quite a lot of money and you have to pay this within seven days of getting your acceptance email or you're no longer in the program actually you're technically not in the program until you pay this fee so you're not in the program until you pay your $550 but that is how much the program actually costs now to get to Florida my flight was going to be $526 and then we also were going to pay um, me and my future roommate my roommate that was going to be for Disney were staying two nights before our check-in day um, so two nights in a hotel again Disney doesn't pay for your transportation to Florida and they don't pay for your um, housing up until you get into their housing even then you have to pay a weekly rent but it's very very cheap anyway um, so we were gonna stay in a hotel for two nights which would have been $107 per person and $25 for my police check. You have to have a police check and you have to send it to Yummy Jobs before you can even go down to Florida. So that cost me $25. This is different for everybody. I know people who live down in Ontario who had to pay around $55 to $60. Somebody even had to pay $80 for their police check. So it truly just depends on where you are located. Um, mine, I'm in a very small town and it cost me $25. So... That truly depends on where you are. Um, and then for me, optional, again, was clothing. For Florida, I bought a bunch of summer clothes, um, some swimsuits, some summer clothes, and it was $135 I spent on clothes for Florida. That is all of the costs that I have paid or was going to pay. We were refunded our um, acceptance fee when our program was canceled. And my parents got a flight credit, so my, that money for my flight was then just put on like a, a gift card. And then as well as the hotel we just canceled. 
Um, so unfortunately, it's so sad to even still talk about it. But unfortunately, I did not actually get down to Florida. But like I touched on, there is a weekly rent. Um, the lowest was $115 a week for your rent in, house, in their housing. And the most expensive was like 210 or something like that. So their rent is very, very cheap. Um, you do have to pay it. It comes directly out of your paycheck. Um, what else can I touch on? I think that's really it. Um, obviously, once you're down there, you do get paid to work. I was going to be getting paid $12 an hour, which is very, very good for working in the States, I thought. Um, $12 an hour. Your rent is very cheap. Like I said, it's between $210 and $115 per week. Um, you have to pay for your own food. Your your acceptance fee pays for your bus pass as well as your weekly rent, I believe. So you do get busing um, included. You don't have to pay anything extra for that. Um, but you have to pay for your food, get free admission into the parks while you're working. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to touch on because I never did get to experience it. Hopefully I will experience it in 2021. Or 2022 if 2021 gets cancelled as well um, but yeah so if you guys do have any questions if I kind of breezed over something too quickly or it didn't explain something enough comment that down below and I will be sure to answer it but that is it for today's video you guys I hope you did enjoy I post videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday so I hope you subscribe so you never miss a video and I will see you in the next one bye